The public has long been curious about the truth regarding Meghan and Harry's invisible children. This question likely looms large for the entire royal family. So let's delve into this issue in this video and attempt to uncover the answer. Hello friends and welcome back to the, the King YouTube channel. As far as we know, no one in Britain, South Africa, or the U.S. has ever seen either child. Megan claimed that Archie was born at the Portland Hospital in London, but the hospital has denied this. Allegedly, Lilibet was born at a luxurious clinic in L.A. delivered by a top doctor who owns the clinic. However, there's more confusion surrounding the story because the doctor stated that she did not deliver Lilibet, she only assisted. Strangely, right after the doctor made this statement, she abruptly shut down the clinic without warning, leaving many expectant mothers nearing their due dates in a difficult situation, scrambling to find alternative care. This controversy adds another layer of mystery to the already opaque circumstances surrounding the birth and existence of Harry and Meghan's children. Many are left wondering why there is so much secrecy and what the real story might be. Let's explore further to try to piece together the truth. Additionally, Meghan and Harry's neighbors in Montecito have not seen either child. There are no visible signs of children living there, such as playground equipment or swings. Meghan and Harry frequently travel around the world by private jet, but they never seem to take the kids along. Allegedly, the children attended the Platinum Jubilee, but they were not listed on the flight manifest, which is a legal document detailing the names of all individuals on a flight, whether private or commercial. It seems implausible that their names could have been omitted from the flight manifest. Furthermore, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex claimed that the Queen got down on the floor to play with their child, Lilibet. However, this assertion has been refuted as the Queen, at 96 years old, always prioritized her duties and was unable to attend events celebrating the Jubilee or the Thanksgiving service due to her health. The lack of public sightings and inconsistencies in their statements fuel speculation and skepticism about the existence and well-being of Archie and Lilibet. This ongoing mystery raises questions and concerns about transparency and the well-being of the children involved. Buckingham Palace has denied that the Queen met Lilibet, casting further doubt on Harry and Meghan's claims. All the photos we've seen fail to provide conclusive proof. They're either heavily and poorly photoshopped or feature other children like Gavin Green and Hartford Schroeder. Stacy Schroeder, Hartford's mother, admitted on Instagram that she allowed Meghan Markle to borrow Hartford for photos. Additionally, Misson Harriman confessed to fabricating images of Archie, stating that Meghan Markle paid him to Photoshop the photos. Furthermore, different photos purported to be of Archie were used, but they allegedly were taken on the same day as published photos with the same sofa and clothing as Archie's christening. This raises questions about the authenticity of the images. Additionally, while it was claimed that Lilibet was christened at home, photos show a church setting. Moreover, there are concerns about Lilibet's behavior as it appears unresponsive and uninterested in its surroundings. This entire situation continues to fuel speculation and doubt about the true existence and well-being of Harry and Meghan's children, leaving the public and the royal family seeking clarity. Unlike typical babies, the hand on Meghan Markle's arm in some photos appears unusual, resembling a foot rather than a hand. This adds to the skepticism surrounding the authenticity of the photos. Furthermore, Harry's behavior raises suspicions on the day Archie was supposedly born. He remarked that the child had changed so much in two weeks, which is odd if the child didn't exist. Additionally, Harry becomes defensive and upset when questioned about the children. As evidenced by his response to David Foster's inquiry about Archie during dinner, Harry's abrupt reply of don't even go there suggests discomfort or an attempt to deflect the question, which is unusual behavior for parents discussing their children. Unlike most parents who eagerly share stories and photos of their children, Harry and Meghan seem reluctant to discuss theirs, adding to the doubts about their existence. Meghan's unfriendly reaction to Rebel Wilson's mother's question about the children, as well as Harry's awkward response during an interview, raises further doubts about the existence of their children. This reluctance to engage in typical parental behavior fuels ongoing speculation and skepticism. Instead of providing a simple and polite response, Megan appeared defensive and evasive, suggesting she only wants to discuss the children on her own terms. Harry's hesitation and uncertain response regarding the age of his children add to the skepticism surrounding their existence. 
the inconsistencies in Harry and Meghan's responses regarding their children's ages, as well as their defensive reactions when questioned about them, only add to the skepticism surrounding their existence. Meghan's vague response about Lily's age and Harry's hesitation in answering a simple question about Archie's age suggests that they may be hiding something. While there are photos claiming to show their children, the possibility remains that these images could have been manipulated or involve other children altogether. The lack of visibility of Meghan and Harry's supposed children raises doubts about their existence. If Meghan truly had children, she would likely showcase them extensively, yet there is no evidence of this. Additionally, reports suggesting Megan had a hysterectomy cast further doubt on her ability to conceive. The discrepancy between Megan's racial identity and the appearance of the children in photos adds to the skepticism surrounding their existence. While Megan claims Nigerian ancestry, the children portrayed in images are depicted as white with red hair. This incongruity raises questions about the authenticity of the photos and the children themselves. The inconsistency in Meghan's actions, such as refusing an invitation to spend time with the royal family at Balmoral due to Archie's age while simultaneously traveling by private jet to visit Sir Elton John, adds to suspicions about the existence of their children. Despite claims of Archie being too young to join the family at Balmoral, Meghan and Harry's willingness to travel elsewhere contradicts their reasoning. If concrete evidence of the children's existence emerges, I will gladly retract my skepticism. However, based on the available information, doubts about their reality persist. If Meghan Markle's children truly existed, she would likely exploit them for financial gain. However, inconsistencies in her behavior, such as the use of excessive padding during alleged pregnancies and the unnatural positioning of her stomach, raise doubts about the authenticity of her claims. Additionally, her failure to capitalize on potential opportunities to monetize her children further fuels skepticism regarding their existence. It appears evident that Meghan Markle may not have real children, instead borrowing them as props for photos when needed. There is suspicion that her deception will eventually be exposed, especially if she has a falling out with the parents of the borrowed children. Despite her attempts at deception, Meghan's efforts seem lackluster, as evidenced by inconsistencies in the appearance of her alleged baby bump, including instances where it appeared square or fell to her knees. There are reports of witnesses who saw Megan's moon bump on the floor of her bedroom and reports that she went out in New York without it. Her alleged pregnancy was questionable due to the way she walked and moved, especially while wearing stilettos. The story surrounding Archie's birth also raises doubts. The first time Archie was shown to the public, it was with a doll, further fueling skepticism. The sudden closure of a business accompanied by the absence of interviews suggests a gag order, which is concerning. It does seem suspicious that Meghan Markle's claim about the doctor delivering Lily was contradicted by the doctor herself, who stated she only assisted. The subsequent closure of the clinic raises further questions, especially considering the doctor's successful career. Faking a pregnancy to prompt a marriage proposal is a well-known tactic, and the royal family might have wanted a quick marriage before any signs of pregnancy appeared. If Archie were real, announcing his existence now would likely lead to accusations of racism, anti-Americanism, and anti-feminism from Meghan Markle. It's concerning to think about Archie's schooling given the lack of evidence regarding his existence. If they're real, the Sussex will need to address this soon, especially considering the legal requirements for education in the U.S. It's baffling how Harry is seemingly complicit in this deception, especially considering his previous desire for a family. The lack of confirmation from anyone who has met Archie or Lily adds to the skepticism surrounding their existence. How do you feel about these issues? Please comment to let us know and don't forget to support us with a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye, and I'll be back with more videos on our YouTube channel featuring Royal, the King YouTube channel.